we were created here from the dust and the dirt, from the mud of this land. Mother Earth. They said, you got to listen to the spirits when they come and tell you things. So that's what I did. Dean is a spiritual elder for the Pyramid Lake Paiutes. At Burning Man, we bring him in to bless our temple. My grandma knew I was different. She spirited within the tribe. We were gifted teachers. We were the artists. We were the healers. People like Dean are far and few between anymore. All I knew about the local people was to be respectful and drive the speed limit. We have a lot to learn from the indigenous folks and from the Paiutes. Getting more involved, helping connect communities, We are all a part of the earth, only our culture has disconnected from the earth. You've never lost your connection to nature, to the ancestors. This is the largest reservation in Nevada. We have the lake, which is sacred to us. She provided for our old people with the fish, the kuyui, and the trout. We'll do everything we can to protect her, keep her safe, we still practice our tradition, cultural ways. In a way, we are a threat to this government because we're sober and we can think clearly. And then we fall on our spiritual ways and that makes us even stronger. There's a miracle that still happens. Before Burning Man even came, we went out with elders and said prayers out on the playa. I have that connection to the ancestors were always walking on their shoulder and in time my bones will turn to dust. There's ancient human remains still out there. We're trying to protect them. Having to hold our people in repositories for the name of science, people didn't understand how that affects us. To us it's disrespectful to have those numbers, prison numbers. We call it. If we're gonna learn as much as possible from you, Dean, we need to have you to be around for as long as possible. I've helped a lot of our own people learn. We're willing to teach, share our culture and traditions. Our people have lost touch with who they really are, but we also have young people that want to learn. Maybe they'll learn and help us one day keeping humans from destroying the earth. <laughs> He's a Togo. He's a grandpa. I hold him very dear to my heart. If we can take care of him as best as we can, health issues are utmost importance. I had really challenging time that almost made me give up life, wanting to live. Losing my leg, losing my foot, it killed a lot of our people. The diabetes, COVID devastated our elder people. Fluent speakers, the ones with knowledge, they're all gone. So I'm trying to share what I know as much as I can with people that want to learn. I don't want to give up my life. Culture, tradition, something to keep going so that their kids and their grandkids will learn. So none of this is lost. That's my hope. We're still part of this land. We're still connected to this Mother Earth. And we will always have that connection. We're still here.